Hi and welcome to Rishi's Cooking World, your place for the most authentic Indian and Desi cooking. Today I'm going to make chicken cutlets. Chicken cutlets can be a great snack, you can even have for lunch. Call all your friends over, have fun, have a great time. Watch this video, make it, let me know how you think. So let's get started. I'm going to take two large potatoes and I'm going to boil them in a pressure cooker. Uh, for 15 to 17 minutes and uh, once they are done I'm going to go ahead and cut them into pieces. Here I'm going to take uh, chopped coriander, chopped tomatoes, 3 fourth cup of uh, onions chopped, uh, green chilies, ginger garlic paste and lime. That's a nice cut. I'm going to take about 2 uh, pounds of uh, boneless skinless chicken and I'm going to blend it in a blender until I get a paste as you can see here. I think this is a little coarse and I like it like this. It's up to your preference. The spices I'm going to use is uh, cumin, uh, jeera, haldi, turmeric, garam masala and coriander powder. I'm going to take about two tablespoons of uh, oil, vegetable oil and I'm going to start uh, sauteing uh, the cumin seeds, red chilies, and I'm going to add the onions and I'm going to saute. I keep sauteing uh, as much as you can until the onions brown and then add the uh, ginger garlic paste after that. Once the onions are done browning I'm going to add the uh, tomatoes and we're going to fry them, saute them for some time and then add all the spices, all the dry spices. You continue sauteing until it's, it's brown and then add all the chicken inside it. And uh, mix it up, once again saute it and uh, keep cooking it for about 15-20 minutes at least. You can add salt, salt to taste. I'm going to add some cilantro or coriander and then I'm going to leave it for about 15 minutes then add some lime. Uh, this is going to make it sour and, and it's going to taste great. Once again continue sauteing for another 5 minutes or until done. Now I'm going to add some peas and carrots chopped and there you go. Uh, I'm going to mix it up and saute it again uh, until the chicken is done. You can you know taste it, you can try it and get a sense of what's going on. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the potatoes because the chicken is almost done and once you add the potatoes um, you need to mix it up and you need to uh, completely mash it up. I'm going to use a masher for this and once the potatoes are done once again uh, saute it and cook it for another five minutes uh, until it gets cooked. Potatoes get mixed up and everything looks good. There you go I think it's coming out beautifully. Once this is done, I'm going to start making uh, patties or cutlet shapes. You can, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and make patties, put them aside. There you go. I'm going to take about three eggs with yolks and I'm going to use this as a glue for breadcrumbs. Yeah, mix it up. 
take about 2 to 3 teaspoons of bread crumbs in a plate and get ready for frying the cutlets heat up about a good amount of oil uh, and dip you dip the cutlets in the egg and then into the bread crumbs and then start frying it the amount of oil used for frying can be uh, one cup or two cups as much as you think you should use it's up to you there you go I think it's coming out beautifully see that it's golden uh, on both the sides do not overcook it sometimes uh, it can turn black you don't want that I think these are coming out amazing I love it and I think they just came out amazing and tasty I'm gonna have one right now so I hope you like the recipe uh, go ahead make it call your friends over and let me know how you think don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to me tell all your friends and family about it and I hope to see you in my next video thank you bye